All right, hello everyone, I'm Rob here from ScrappyDo.com and this video tutorial we're going to be going over what is new in the SVG Viewer uh, in version 1.2. A couple new features were added that uh, hopefully you'll enjoy, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with the SVG Viewer. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically a drop and drag your folder into this program. And it will search and find and hunt down all those SVGs that are inside that folder and it will display them in a nice list that you'll see right here and you'll actually get to see a preview of it uh, right over here in this window here so let's go ahead and get started with the mojo monday Spay, pay close attention to this box here the svg viewer history okay so i'm going to go ahead and drop and drag this mojo monday it has a little bit a little bit over 80 plus files in there so as you can see it was pretty fast at at hunting those down and like i said this little svg viewer history uh, just added a line right here and it has a, a timestamp. So let's go ahead and add this folder here called split letters. So when I do that, uh, we'll have a nice little preview of the letters. Okay, so now back to this history. You know, you can, you know, nothing's changed with as far as loading. Okay, so say I want to go back to the Mojo Monday, I just hit load selected and it goes back. Now, you know, these timestamps really don't mean anything to me. So we gave you the ability to double click and you can now edit that. So now that's going to be Mojo Monday. Okay, let's load this, see what's in here. Oh, those are my split letter fonts. So let me go ahead and type in split letters. And so from now on, whenever I open up this program, uh, my history will appear and I can go ahead and say alright hey I'm, I'm doing a project with uh, some split letters I'm gonna select the split letters hit load and it will display the SVGs for me and if I want to use that letter L all I have to do is click view SVG in the folder and it will it will actually open up another window for me and it will have that file actually selected okay so th that is the uh, the new part where you can actually edit the history to give you something a little more recognizable okay so so great feature on that we also have the create html thumbnail a little preview so if i go ahead and you know say i'm i'm, I'm doing the split letters and uh it will basically go through whatever is currently in this list and it will create an HTML export of the thumbnail. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit create thumbnail. And it's gonna ask me where would I like to save that? And you know, why would I want to use this? Well, let's let's take a look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my desktop. I'm gonna to go to the folder that has the split letters in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in right inside there, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. And we can go view the, view the file. So this right here is an HTML file that you can actually open up in your browser, uh, excluding Internet Explorer. And we're gonna go ahead and hit open. And let's, let's take a look at that. All right. Let me slide this up into the view. All right, so this is the uh, the name of the folder it comes up here. So it's going to be a split letters that that got that data from the uh, SVG view history. So if you want to change that, that's where you would change it. So what this is doing, it's displaying all these SVGs for you in a nice readable format. You know, check out all those all those letters, and all you have to do is you can if you see something you like within this little file all you have to do is right click save image as and you can find it that way or you know you can say okay hey i know this this thing right here is uh, the esvg let me go into my svg um, svg viewer here and find that e okay so you're like all right is that is that the e all right, that's not the E. Let me go to the next E. But uh, it's much simpler just to you know, use this HTML preview and save image as. Now, you may see something like this with the SVG library. However, 
Uh, this is local to your drive. You know, you cannot upload this to a website. It will not display these properly because for these images, it is using the file folder system that is on your computer for viewing. Okay, so you, you, you won't be able to use the Dropbox method that you uh, seen in the other video with SVG library, but you'll still be able to use it on the same computer that you have been using. Okay, so pretty cool feature. Uh, very excited about that. Uh, check it out. Uh, in order to get updates with SVG Viewer, just make sure you click the check for updates, little magic wand here. Uh, this over here will tell you how to download your fresh copy. It, basically, you'll just have to copy and paste this. So you'll copy that to your clipboard, and then you will visit uh, that website that you just copied to your clipboard and use your original invoice for the password okay because the zip file is password protected you're gonna have to use your original invoice and if you don't happen to remember uh, your password for that all you have to do is go to the dash 12.com website and over here under contact you can go to order lookup and just type in your email address right there and it will be sent to you automatically all right so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you like those those little upgrades that we've added to the uh, SVG viewer and we'll see you next time okay